Okay, let's finally wrap up these intro videos by talking about how you submit your coursework. So for module one, in order to successfully complete the module after you've done all the required activities, you must complete activities one, two, three, and four. To submit them, you're going to click on them. In ART 1280, everything that you have to do will open in a new tab. And so you could do the initial response activity, hit the submit button in the top right hand corner. A text box will appear which will allow you to type your answer and then you can hit submit. When you're done, you can just close out of the tab and it will take you back into the main course. The four activities that are due for module one are initial response activity. You're either going to say, I have gone through everything in module one, I feel confident, I feel good to go, or you're going to say, I'm a little confused still and I have questions, and ask your questions. And your instructor is going to check that at least once a day, if not three or four or five or ten times a day during the first week of the semester, so that we can answer your question as fast as possible. We would all like you to upload a profile picture. It's much easier to feel like you get to know students when you can see their photograph. Um, click on the activity. It will explain how to do that. There's an introduce yourself to the class activity. There's two goals for this activity. The first is that I want you to tell the class about yourself so that you guys can get to know each other. But the second part of it is to practice using discussion threads. All projects and all skills uh, discussions in ART 1280 are going to be submitted through discussions. And so you need to get comfortable using them now as opposed to a week from now when you have to start submitting um, work through the discussions. And last but not least, there's a short syllabus quiz. It has unlimited attempts. You should take this syllabus quiz as many times as is necessary to score 100%. You should read the course syllabus before you take the syllabus quiz, but it's not timed, so you could open it and have it open at the same time that you're reading through the syllabus if you want to.